Welcome to the Harvest Baptist Church Fighterverse podcast. As always, I'm Keith Meyer, pastor of Harvest Baptist Church. Our mission as a church is to know Jesus Christ and to make him known. Thanks for pressing play and listening in. Consideration of and meditation on scripture should be a part of our daily lives. Once we've read a passage of scripture and puzzled through its meaning, we can shift to application. We should always observe, interpret, and then apply the scripture. Application is drawing out the implications of the biblical principle that we've encountered and then thinking through how the principle should affect our beliefs, our feelings, and our actions. Years ago, I ran across the acronym SPACE PETS, which represents a series of questions that we can use to interrogate each text. So I'm going to post a summary of this acronym into the show notes so that you can take a picture of them on your phone or copy and text them to someone uh, if you want to have a discussion about something or just so that you can have them handy when you work through the fighter verse yourself. So you read a passage of scripture, you've thought through the meaning, and now you've work, you're working out the implications of this principle that you've discovered in, in the verse. And there's a number of them in all in, in the scripture texts that we'll study. So you're working out the implications of the principle on your beliefs, your feelings, and your actions. And so you can ask these questions. Now remember, the acronym is Space Pets. So you can ask, is there a sin to confess? Is there a promise to claim? Is there an attitude that you need to change? Is there a command to obey? An example to follow? A prayer to pray? An error to avoid? A truth to believe? Or something to praise God for? So you're looking for sins to confess, promises to claim, attitudes to change, commands to obey, examples to follow, prayers to pray, errors to avoid, truths which should be believed, and then finally, things to praise God for. I like the way that this acronym is set up because it begins with, uh, with, with sin. It begins with being able to look to the Lord and say, hey, I'm sorry for the way that I've, I've strayed from you. And then we can look to commands um, or, or rather promises. The scriptures are full of, of promises that tell us if we come near to him, then uh, he will come near to us. Or if we repent, if we come to him and we ask for forgiveness, then he is faithful and righteous and he will forgive us from all of our transgressions. We may need to change our outlook on something. There may be a direct command in that scripture saying, you should do this or stop doing that. Sometimes what we what we find is there's an example that's consistent with biblical principles. And so, hey, I ought to be like this, or I ought to make my actions look like this, or my attitude, or my heart. There are, are sometimes prayers to pray. I believe it's important that our study of the scriptures result in us saying, Lord, wow, change and transform me. Make me more like this. Is there an error to avoid? Maybe somebody in, in the example in front of you, the scripture in front of you, is, is doing something foolish or, or doing something, and you, you are, as the reader, reacting and saying, no, this is not good, or here's the truth that you're, you're running from. Um, sometimes the error to avoid is, is stated extremely plain do not be deceived. Don't do this, right? And, and so you just read back in, into the text, what, what is the error that's there? If it's don't be deceived, God is not mocked, the error would be mocking God. Is there a truth to believe? Maybe something that strikes you and you're like, huh, I did not realize or see that. That's amazing. And then is there something to praise God for? What I like about this as well, this, this, uh, analogy or acronym rather is that it moves from uh, the the starting point when we come to the Lord um, separated distant and perhaps um, you know carrying a weight of sin that we need to give an account for we come to him in confession and then we claim promises of forgiveness we we sometimes need to fight for clarity and then we say I'm going to commit to uh, living out of the the grace that God's shown to me, and I'm going to follow his commands and, and follow the example of, of Christ and those who've gone before me. I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask the Lord to protect me from error. 
I'm going to fortify my soul with truth. And then we end in praise, which is good. You don't need to spend a ton of time working these each and every question out. Don't don't take this upon yourself as a, a massive burden. Like you need to 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 answer each of these questions because sometimes those things aren't present in a text. You can't make it as they say uh, in in the seminary environment. You can't make it walk on all fours. You know if it's not designed to. Sometimes I find though that the act of working through these questions squeezes a fresh insight out of a scripture, kind of like looking at a sculpture or something from a museum from all the different angles that you can. Seeing scripture from different perspectives, uh, seeing it up close, um, you know, really, really looking at it from a different angle can sometimes reveal new ways in which the scripture applies to our lives and can open up um, principles beyond what we've seen on our first reading. So there you go. When I break down the weekly verse and cover possible applications, and I mentioned space pets, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Feel free to add your own comments and questions to any of the podcasts, whether it's on Facebook, you can use Twitter to talk back to me, um, email, and I'll do my best to grab them all up at the end of the week and to put them into a review. You can always find out more about the concept of fighter verses. You can download the app and the annual schedule at fighterverses.com. Uh, it, I, I'll tell you just this, the consistency of this website, that it doesn't change, that it's uh, always there. I can always go and grab the, um, the, the scripture verse, or I can grab the schedule, or I can look at commentary on verses. It's always been a blessing to me. It's been, it's been fantastic. So, well, thank you for listening to the Harvest Baptist Church Fighter Verse podcast. Feel free to leave a comment or feedback on Facebook or Twitter. Feel free to share this with others if it's been helpful to you and to subscribe. You can learn more about Harvest Baptist Church at www.harvestbc.com. You can join our worship live stream Sundays at 1030 a.m.